Audiobooks.com Publishing presents Stop Caretaking the Borderline or Narcissist How to End the Drama and Get On with Life Written by Margulies Fjeldstedt And read for you by Don McKelvey-Sear Chapter 1 Is My Partner Really a Borderline or Narcissist? What is a personality disorder? Personality is considered to be the pattern of behaviors, motivations, thoughts, ways of speaking, sense of self, individual quirkiness, and so on, that is unique to a specific person. We know a person by his or her personality. We think of personality as a pretty stable, though not totally unchanging, way that a person thinks, feels, and behaves. It's not clearly measurable, but neither is the amount of pain a person is feeling, and it can't be pinpointed in a certain part of the brain. Personality seems to be the sum total of our genetic and learned experiences and the way we put millions of pieces of experience together to form a whole sense of self. Typically, we expect ourselves and our friends and family to maintain pretty much the same personalities over our lifetime, and we usually do. There's an orderly way of learning to be a person. As our brains develop and we interact with our parents and friends, we develop stable ways of defining ourselves and our relationships. As we grow to adulthood, we learn the rules of social interaction. We move from dependency to increasing autonomy. We learn who we are in relation to others and we develop an understanding of what to expect in our dealings with other people. We develop a sense of esteem, that is, caring, concern, and value for ourselves. We learn that we can pretty much count on being basically the same person with the same behaviors and social abilities from day to day. We also learn to count on others in the same way. However, something seems to go amiss in this orderly development for people who become disabled with borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. Because of a biological sensitivity to emotional stress, some people do not process information about the world in such an orderly fashion. They tend to have a highly sensitive emotional system that reacts instantaneously and intensely to their experiences. They do not adjust to change very well or very quickly. They do not respond to soothing and nurturing as easily as other children. If these highly sensitive children experience traumatic or abandoning experiences or have non-responsive or invalidating parenting, they are very susceptible to failing to develop a fully matured adult personality. Therapists since Freud have observed that trauma, abandonment, or being poorly nurtured can result in the child's personality development being impaired and stunted at the stage of development where the loss or trauma occurred. Recent research also has noted that genetic vulnerabilities and even prenatal injury or infection may also be influencing factors. Since personality is a constant building-up process of adding more and more awareness and skills to a base, those children with a weakened or incomplete base will just not fully learn all that they need to as they grow up. And what they learn may be distorted by their upsetting experiences. People with borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder seem to get stuck or impaired at fairly early levels of emotional development, usually around 18 to 24 months of age. As adults, they have the mental content, vocabulary, and experiences of adults. However, their ability to process complex, personal, intimate relationships has not developed beyond those early childhood levels. Developmental psychologists point out that there are optimal times when learning patterns of human interaction are much easier, and that after the optimal time, it may be extremely difficult or impossible to fully learn new ways of thinking and interacting. Specific patterns of personality impairment in person-to-person functioning have been identified by therapists and researchers. 
The two patterns of impairment that we're looking at in this book are borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. These two disorders share many similarities and some obvious differences. They are serious mental illnesses, and they have a profound impact on family members as well.